Hello, good evening. Investigations are now underway to find out how Glasgow's world-renowned School of Art was devastated by a second fire in four years. The Macintosh Design Building was in the process of being restored at a cost of up to £35 million. But last night, flames engulfed it once again, this time reducing it to a shell. Katrina Renton reports. It was just after 11 o'clock when the angry blaze roared into the night sky. And for the second time in four years, Glasgow School of Art's treasured Macintosh building was consumed by the flames. As people were evacuated from clubs and pubs, an air of disbelief. I looked up and I seen like this orange, ma massive orange cloud. Um, and I just, I thought to myself, surely that's not the art school. It's just mortifying, isn't it? It's just mortifying. It's so sad that a listed building like this has gone up like that. Throughout the night, more than 120 firefighters tackled the blaze. There were no casualties. The fire was well developed when they arrived. As morning broke, the extent of the damage became apparent. The building, like an empty shell, and the acrid smell of smoke in the air. The damage inside is, is quite considerable. From one end of the building to the other, the, the roof is fairly well damaged. Uh, the floors are um, well damaged um, and the building is, is looking quite uh, in a poor state. In a bid to tackle the raging blaze, the fire service used its high volume pump that ran all the way through the city from the River Clyde. The First Minister came to see the scene for herself. It's heartbreaking, it's actually quite hard to find the words uh, given what happened four years ago. The fact that it was so close to being reopened after the restoration that this has happened again and you know my heart goes out to everybody associated with the art school. It's now well into the afternoon, more than 15 hours since the blaze broke out last night and you can see there's smoke still billowing from the roof of the campus club. That's one of the other buildings that was affected as firefighters continue to pour water on the buildings to dampen this down. As was evident four years ago, the Macintosh building has a special place in the heart of Glaswegians. It may be a matter of weeks until investigators can access some parts of it to establish why this happened again. Katrina Renton, reporting Scotland, Glasgow. Well, our arts correspondent Pauline McLean joins us now live from the scene of the fire. So Pauline, do you have any idea yet how this fire might have started? Graham, I think we're going to be several days before we have an answer here. As you can see, as Katrina was reporting, still not just smoke billowing out from the building here, but on the other side, on the campus building, there are actually flames uh, still uh, spreading there. So uh, the fire service are going to be here on site for quite a bit longer, and the fire investigators, I think, will take a good bit longer before they come back with any answers. Glasgow School of Art, meanwhile, say they will not be making any kind of public statement about how this happened, why this happened, until they have heard back from all the agencies here on site. And uh, they're also saying basically they're going to close the whole campus for the next week. It's going to be closed for the whole week. They will update staff and students as and when they have information. The other big question, Graham, though, is whether the restoration work that you mentioned can still go on, whether there is enough of a building left to restore. Again, you can see there's scaffolding there. They were in the final stages of this £35 million restoration. They're now at this stage with Brad Pitt and Peter Capaldi among their patrons of raising uh, the final patch of money and they were hoping in the next few weeks to announce further donations. It's a work of art, but it's also a working art school. Or it was until the fire of 2014 forced them to start again. Gradually, the Mac has risen again from the ashes. And that's what makes this latest fire so devastating. They were just months off completing the project. I was in the building last month just seeing some of the restoration work. The hen run had been completed and uh, back to how it was in uh, 1909. And uh, it, it looked wonderful Look, seeing the studios, the beautiful latent plaster and seeing the early glimpses of the library starting to take shape. The campaign to raise funds reached across the world, from Brad Pitt to Peter Capaldi. And you will be reborn and rise from the ashes even stronger. It's a cruel blow in the midst of celebrations to mark the 150th anniversary of the birth of Macintosh. It's almost a feeling of grief. 
and you think of all the work that has been done, the craftsmen, the research work, all that's just gone. Glasgow School of Art say once again they've been inundated with messages of support and offers of help from around the world. Pauline McLean, Reporting Scotland. OK, let's find out what the weather has in store and Gillian Smart's at the map for us. Thanks, Graham. Good evening to you. Late sunshine for some at the end of what has been a fairly unsettled day. We've had some heavy showers around, but skies have been brightening from the southwest, chasing that cloud and rain.